It's an early start to the day for thousands of hunters across the state. Firearm deer season starts this morning. So what are the hunting prospects this season? Well, DNRA officials say there's good-sized deer population in the Lower Peninsula because of a mild winter last year and an abundant amount of food. Hunters are being encouraged to harvest antlerless deers, especially on private land. that will help bring down populations and address concerns of excessive crop damage and car deer accidents. Officials say there are fewer deer check stations this year, too, about 50 all uh, in all because of budget cuts. And you're also being asked to bring in your deer after the hunt. That's so gaming officials can collect data for management of Michigan's deer herd. So if you are headed out this morning for hunting, here are a few reminders, some important reminders. It's illegal during the month of November to shine lights from your vehicle to find deer. You can shoot from portable tree stands, scaffolds, or raised platforms. And there's a state baiting ban in effect in Lower Michigan. Hunting hours, of course, run a half hour before sunrise to a half hour after sunset. And, of course, firearm deer season goes through November 30th. There's also a new online tool for Michigan deer hunters this year. Michigan State University's Department of Fisheries and Wildlife has launched a website that offers a variety of information, including hunting regulations, research, and weather conditions. You can also follow the Michigan Department of Natural Resources on Twitter for the latest data from the field. For a link to those websites, you can visit ours, WLNS.com. And even though deer hunting season won't officially shoot off for another few hours yet, the economic impact is already being felt locally in stores. Lansing's Classic Arms Company says they've extended hours just to keep up with preseason sales. Co-owner says she expects to see a nice boost in profits compared to last year. As she hopes purchases over the weekend will help sustain sales through the holidays. Typically, this is the busiest time of year for um, gun stores. It it beats Christmas, it beats Father's Day. This is the time in Michigan that um, gun stores are doing the majority of their business. Aside from business, some hunters this season are using their love of the sport to give back to the community. As part of the Michigan's Sportsmen Against Hunger program, hunters can donate their deer to local food banks. All they have to do is take their game to a participating licensed processor. If you go out, be successful, take that deer on in, say, hey, I want to donate it to Sportsmen Against Hunger, and then they'll take it off your hands, and they'll process it for us, call us, we pick up the processed venison and deliver it to a local agency. If you want to donate your deer to Michigan Sportsmen Against Hunger, you can visit our website for a list of participating processors. You'll also find more information in general on firearm deer hunting season. An autopsy is scheduled today on the body of a man found over the weekend in the Kalamazoo River. Police say employees of Enbridge Energy found that man's body Saturday with a single gunshot wound to the chest. That discovery was made in Emmett Township. That's in Calhoun County. Dive teams searched the area for a weapon but have come up empty-handed so far. Police say there are still many unanswered questions. Hard to determine how he ended up there. Um, so that's why we're treating it as a crime scene right now. The people who live near that river there say that they're shocked by the discovery. Police haven't released that man's identity. We, of course, are bringing more on the story as we get it. A 10-year-old girl fights for her life this morning after she and her little brother were hit by a truck in Jackson. Police say Savannah Rupert and her little brother Travis walked in front of a truck near the train station in Jackson Friday night. Investigators say four-year-old Travis died at the scene. Savannah is in critical condition at the University of Michigan Hospital. Witnesses say the driver of that truck had a green light, but police are still investigating. A Jackson man is behind bars this morning accused of stealing thousands of dollars from a local church. It happened Saturday in the middle of Mass at St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church. Witnesses say uh, the 52-year-old was dressed like a priest and went up to the altar in front of hundreds of people. He then took the collection bag that was holding nearly $4,000. The pastor there says he actually knows the man. The church has helped him out a time or two before. He had talked with me earlier before Mass. I saw him in our church um, sitting by our cry room. We always look for, you know, justice, but we always understand human condition. We understand where people come from and the circumstances of their life. Officials from the Jackson Police Department say that man was on parole. He now faces felony charges. Now, weather on the sixes. Brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company.